Hey everybody, uh, Kevin Klein here from Operation 85 and today we're going to do a very quick video on uh, how to do your DNA test that you get from the Navy, Marines, the Air Force, the Army, whoever sends you these. Now, uh, I as a family member of USS Arizona and Operation 85, um, we're doing this obviously, we're getting our kits from the Navy and Marines. But if you happen to find this video online and you're wondering how to do this or what to expect, um, certainly you can use this video as a guide too because all the kits inside are the same. So uh, once you uh, identify yourself as a family member and you're the correct type of uh, donor that can participate with the uh, Armed Forces um, DNA Identification Lab and their, their DNA testing, uh, they're gonna send you the Navy or whoever you're catching the offices. Mine happens to be the Navy because I'm related to a missing person from the USS Arizona in the Navy. So this is what my kit looks like when it comes. Uh, very discreet packaging and it has everything inside. So we're gonna open this up real quick and just do it and go through it and show you how quick it can be. This video will take a little bit longer than uh, than probably you doing it at home because we're gonna explain everything. But again, it doesn't take uh, very long at all. So in your kit, you should get one plastic uh, bag here with three collection tube kits. And also in the kit, you're going to have these little stickers. These stickers will have your name on it, and I believe possibly your crew, crew member or your family member's name on it. And you're going to use these up to seal the end. So you have three stickers, three collection tubes. You're going to get uh, some directions here on, on what to do. You're going to get a donor consent form with the uh, thing, we'll go over that. And also you're going to get the uh, family reference collection form. So we're going to go over each form. And also in the kit, you get a self uh, returned or stamped envelope to put everything in and send it back. So when you do these kits for your collection off of the, the casualty offices, uh, other than a few minutes of your time, it doesn't cost anything. Everything is already pre-packaged, pre-labeled, postage on it, good to go. Just literally it's going to take a few minutes of your time. So real quick, let's go over the forms that you get with this so we can uh, bring this up. Uh, the first thing you're going to get is uh, we want to go over is this donor consent form. Um, the donor consent form, anything you see that is highlighted is what you want to, um, let me pull that out there, is what you want to make sure that you do. So on the donor consent form, uh, you want to, in the highlight, you want to check yes and initial, uh, that very first one, that you consent to the use of the DNA sam sample. Uh, so check yes, check the box and initial yes. The second one below that is whether or not you want the DNA report sent back to you. Um, if you do, check yes and initial. If you do not want the DNA report sent back to you, check no and initial. And then finally there on the bottom, you have to sign it, uh, print your name, date it, um, and everything was done on that page. This, if you turn it over, you're going to see the family relationship chart. Um, this is something you can find on our website and as you can see it, it, it identifies um, the people that are able to uh, donate which they call viable uh, family members and then there's also it identifies non-viable family members that can't participate with their DNA and those are examples such as paternal nieces, uh, granddaughters, doesn't matter on what side you are. There's uh, certain people that just unfortunately the capability, current capability of the lab, uh, they're not able to, to use those types of references. The uh, family reference collection form is also in here. When you first get this, I believe it should have your uh, name already filled out. Uh, if it doesn't, you can do that. See, it's donor information. You want to put your first name, middle name, last name, your home phone number, date of birth, whether you're male or female, um, home address. I don't know what this DCIPS number is. Probably it's already filled in. Uh, and then fill out the rest of the stuff, country of birth, zip code, all that stuff, and then check your ethnic group. <clears throat> and then there's a little uh, description here uh, if you need to know a little bit more about what ethnic group you might fit in. Uh, the missing individual information <clears throat> should already be, be filled out for the crew member. Obviously, this doesn't have my uh, uncle's name on it, but it does... Um, I just have John Doe, and that all should be correct. Look at it. If it's incorrect, you are allowed to fix it on this, okay? So if for, I've had a few family members call me and say, hey, Kevin, um, my uncle's name was spelled wrong or something was different here, 
go ahead. You can cross it off and correct it here. Um, we want to get it right. So make sure you do that. Also, uh, list your family relationship. Um, again, it's very important to make sure that you um, are the right type of uh, reference sample to, to, for, for the lab to take your DNA and put it in here. So they want to make sure that you're right. If you're part of the USS Arizona um, crew, you can always call us, go to our website or email us. Most likely, we already have all of this family information already done for you. So if you want to double check and make sure exactly you're putting down the right one, just give us a quick call or an email and we'll help you with that. But if you already know, go ahead and write it down. And then there's a couple questions. Are you adopted? Same things we have on our forms as well. Are there any step siblings or half siblings? Uh, just check those in there. Uh, also on the back of this form, uh, there the Navy is going to ask or whoever, whichever casualty office you're from, they're going to want to know whether or not you have other family members. We ask that of you guys too. So we're always trying to find another nephew, another maternal niece, another brother or sister or whoever. Um, so if you have other family members, hey, if you do fill this out and you tell the Navy but haven't told us, we really would appreciate you connecting us with these family members too. That's only for the Operation 85 um, family members uh, because we're interested in it. And again, also in here is you'll have uh, a front and back page of directions on what to do. If you're one of the ones that likes to read everything and, and know everything about it, you can go through here and read. It's very simple, but we're going to do the test right now and it uh, shouldn't take long. And then the last thing they in, have in here is the uh, return uh, envelope and you just pop your stuff in there and we're done. So it's really easy. So let's go ahead and um, let's, let's just knock it out here and, and do it. So here is the, the uh, plastic tube, as you can see. It has three collection tubes, okay? Very simple. And it also is gonna have in the bag three stickers uh, with the names, your name on there so that we can seal up these collection tubes and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these three apart. Okay, so one, two, three, let's start with the first one. And the way they're gonna do it is we're gonna do uh, seven swirls on the left cheek and one, seven swirls on the right cheek is two and then the third one is we're going to go back and forth left and right okay so left right so we have three we're going to do left right and both sides all right so let's open it up very simple make sure if, if anything that you do not touch the um uh the cotton swab with anything else okay so when you pull it out it's very simple as you can see i'm sorry here it, you just you just pull it out but when you pull it out don't put it down on the table. Don't touch anything with it. Don't put your hands on it. Keep this very clean and hold this in your other hand. So when you're done, we can just go take. All right, so on the right side. Done, put it in, close it, okay? Now you're gonna pick up one of these stickers and where you closed it, you want to peel that, uh, peel that sticker off, very simple, and seal the tube so that it does not come apart with your sticker, your name, and it, this one is done, okay? They say uh, seven times around, and, and while I am swirl, I'm swirling it around and getting it really good on the one cheek, we're going to go ahead and open up the second one, okay? So we did the right side again. We're going to pull it out, make sure you don't touch anything. Nice and smooth. Now we're going to do the, the left side. Okay, done. Again, put it in nice and good. Close it up real good. Grab that second sticker. Okay. And right where the, right where the, the tube meets, you want to seal it up so that it does not come apart in the mail. And that one's good. And then the third one, we are going to do uh, left and right. Okay, They say seven swirls around is, is good. So that's what they say in the directions. Um, I definitely give a couple more. It doesn't really matter, but we want to go. So now we're going to do uh, left and right. Okay, so again, whoops, here we go. We're going to pull it out. Make sure we don't touch anything with this. Go left side. Right side, turn around. 
done. Okay, I've got both sides. Put that third one in. Get that third sticker. All right. Close it up. All three test coops are sealed and done properly. Okay, take all three. You can put them back in the bag here. Drop them in. Seal up that bag. Make sure that you have all your paperwork finished that we just went through. Okay, your donor consent form, your family reference collection form. So two forms in here. You can keep the directions. You don't need to send that back. We're going to fold this up. Okay. We're going to take the the collect the collection tubes and the, the, the forms. Open up the wonderful envelope they gave you. Slide that in. Okay. Look at that. They even give you the stick. You don't have to lick it or nothing. Thing is done. That took about three minutes to do, and it's done. Get this in the mail. Literally... Um, it only takes a few minutes to do. It's so important. Um, please don't let this kit sit on your kitchen table, sit on the counter. So many family members get it and they're excited. And then it sits and sits and sits and sits. And I know for Operation 85, we spend a lot of time and resources and money uh, calling you, emailing you, sending you letters, postcards to remind you to uh, just do the kit and get it back. And uh, it's just so easy to do. So again, once you get it, it only takes a few, you know, a few minutes, knock it out, get it done, send it back. Now all I'm only left to do is pop this in the mail and we're done. Any questions, you can reach us at ussarizona.navy. Again, our website is www.ussarizona.navy. And of course, you can always contact any of your casualty officers, or you can also uh, find that information on the DPAA website. But again, if you have any questions for us, and if and I, while we are the Operation 85 and we're doing the USS Arizona project, um, if you happen to find this video online, it's the same exact thing for anyone that wants to donate to their DNA for a missing U.S. service member um, to one of the casualty offices or the uh, DPAA. And how you do that, uh, you can contact them on their website or reach out to us. Again, the website's www.ussarizona.navy. I uh, hope that helps. It only takes a few minutes to do, and we really would appreciate everybody getting it in and knocking it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.